Sometimes it's racist. It gets to be a little hard. Amen. We know that we have someone at the finishing line. Amen. Amen. We praise God for His Son Jesus. We give Him the highest honor and the highest glory. Amen. Amen. We are honored to be you one more time. And then you proclaim the story, the glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We have had so many things that we've gone through this week. Many things seem to be somewhat tiresome, somewhat challenging. But it's good to know that through it all, through it all, through it all, Amen. God still gets the glory. Amen. We thank those that are riding down the highways. Uh, we thank God for the safe return. Amen. We can see a lot of them back this morning. And, you know, we can't stop but thanking God thank you. for the good things he's done. Amen. You know, when we look over the television, we see truck accidents, we see car accidents. We first mind goes to our loved ones yes. who's on the road. Amen. Amen. And then, you know, I always say this, and I laugh about it, praise God. I never knew that my third child would become a professional truck driver. Amen. 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 Uh, Mom and I used to be scared of death when he drove us around in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. And now he's a professional driver. <laughs> uh, we haven't had a chance to get on the road with him. <laughs> so evidently he's doing good. Amen. Amen. And we thank God for that. Because we say to ourselves, we never know. We should have said something before then. Yes. Because there comes a the time when it's too late to tell Amen. someone, I appreciate you. That's right. Amen. 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 And, and I'm here to tell you this morning that I have not found a family that is perfect. Amen. Amen. Now, if you have one, I want you to talk to me because I need some counsel. Amen. 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 And in doing so, we put up with a lot of things that makes us stronger. Amen. But I was always taught. And I already learned this one thing. Somebody along the way, somebody in my family, pray for me. Amen. Amen, Jesus. And you never know what the outcome will be. Amen. So I'm saying this morning, don't, don't give up on the children. Amen. Keep them in prayer. Amen. 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 Even though right now they may be too big to be. Oh, I'm going to ask somebody this morning. They may be too big to be. But God has a way of bending. Yes. yes. And you have to thank Him and say, Lord, it's in your hands. In your hands. Your hands. Your so this morning, as we look at you and talk with you, a word, word, the Lord, we want to encourage your heart. And some of the things that you heard in our announcements on the 23rd of November, we always got the church Thanksgiving dinner. Amen. Amen. And uh, our, our, our whole idea behind that is we. Uh, we realize that we can't feed everybody in Fayetteville. But I get those on my watch. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. 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 And we know that this month, this month coming up, and the month behind it, this is when the highest suicide occurred. Yes. We don't like to admit these things, but I'm here this morning to let you know it is true. Unless you experience it for yourself, you would never know. Loneliness is a terror. Amen. Yes. Loneliness is a terror. Mm -hmm. Amen. I was listening to Bobby Womack and y'all know about that. That's all right. Bobby said simply, Amen. I wish I had somebody mm -hmm. to go home to. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all don't miss that. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the simple mean, you know, whether you like it or not, it's good to have someone to care for you. Amen. 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 And I thank God to look at this being my anniversary. Uh, tomorrow we love the white first lady. Amen. You know, we got bad counting. But the 47 years we've been with her. <laughs> amen. And I'll tell folks in the heartbeat, amen. It's good to go home and listen to her wine. Oh, God, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm saying that to you because it's a good thing. I pray God because God said to say these words and it's so elegant. Man should not be the alone. All right. Amen. Now I want to say that to you because there's a flip side of that that Jesus 
tickle me. I didn't understand. Notice he always says it's not good for me <laughs> to be alone. He didn't say it's not good for a woman to be alone. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to me? <laughs> so that means you need to wait until the right one comes alone. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. Amen. I don't care what anyone says or how you put it out, but still yet in today's society, it still irritates me. When I hear, that's my baby dad, that's my other baby dad, that's my other baby dad. <laughs> Come on. There's a right and a wrong. Amen. But that ain't what I'm preaching on. But the Lord led me that way. I'm going to let you know that now. This morning I'm going to talk to you about even when we make mistakes. Make big mistakes. God is still a God of love. Amen. Mercy. Forgiveness. Let me take you to the book of 2 Corinthians. There's an old particular scripture, and everyone probably knows it. Been there before, but we got to do it again today. 2 Corinthians 5, 16 through the 21st verse. Er, excuse me, 2 Corinthians. Let me help you now. Let's write out the first Corinthians. New Testament. Amen. And if that's confusing, come see me Wednesday. 1130 for Bible study. Right. Are you listening to me? Amen. We make it where we can understand the word of God. Amen. We invite all those listening. Come on in. Get an understanding. Second Corinthians. Amen. Somebody get the cameraman out. Amen. 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, you get over the 16th verse. Wherefore, henceforth, know we no man after the flesh. Yes, no, we have known Christ after the flesh. Yet now, henceforth, know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. And all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, who has given us the ministry of reconciliation, to which that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, now imputing their trespasses unto them, and has committed unto us the word, the word of reconciliation. So now, so then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did seek you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be a sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made righteous of God in him. Consecrate your attention on that 17th verse. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, a new beginning. A new beginning. Look at your neighbor on the other side, tell him, a new beginning. A new beginning. You may be seeing now, I don't know how to say new beginning. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> There's only one new beginning in Christ. Are you listening to me? Yes. We may have done many things, but there's only one new beginning. In other words, you have been made over again. All the old things that we did, that we sometimes don't want to talk about, don't want to be associated with. The Bible says, but now pass away. When people look at me and say, do you remember when? I say, yes, I do. But guess what? You're not going to hold me captive. Amen. Bang. Right, I probably did. Amen. Even if I don't remember, I probably did. <laughs> but guess what? That was the old man. Therefore, what you see now is a new creature. Amen. And people like to remind 
you of yesterday. Yes. Amen. I hear people say many times, you would be in church unless I brought you in church. Mm -hmm. And I be saying to myself, who made you say that? Are you listening to it? If you are led by the Spirit and you are who you say you are and somebody follow you to church, you are be giving God his glory. Because somebody led you to the church. Yes. Point number one. Let the things go that you can't control. Amen. To be a new creature, let the things go that you can't control. I said it earlier in the prayer, your children, taller than you are, bigger than you are, mm -hmm. you cannot sit there and tell them you're going to give them a spanking. <laughs> you got to do the next best thing. Tell them what you say, mean what you say, and let it go. Amen. Because they grow. They're going to do what they want to do. That's right. Look at somebody say, yeah, grow. Yeah, grow. Yeah, grow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to understand that. Because you say all these things, you have to understand that in order for you to meet, meet or reach the next level, let it go. Mm -hmm. Then you have to understand if they reside in your house. Mm -hmm. Listen to that, Smith. <laughs> if they reside in your house. Then you need to let them know mm -hmm. that they're a visitor in your house. Mm -hmm. And if you are grown, like you say you're grown, then you need to get your own place. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. But you cannot bend them over your knees. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. I ain't got time to come to your house. Because <laughs> everybody in your house calling 911. Wrong folks are wrong folks. All you need to say is that if you can't abide by the rules of the house, then you need to go. Are you listening to me? Now, I've got to take that back a little bit because Big Mama used to say, let the dough hit you. Oh, y'all better come on, somebody. We're just split and cut you. Uh-huh, are you listening to me? So, therefore, you need to make sure you understand that. You got to learn that you got to love it enough to let it go. Amen. Yes. I love you, and you're not going to do me any harm, and I'm not going to do you any harm. So it's best that we depart our separate ways. Point number two: accept and embrace reality. Oh, love that much. Accept. And embrace reality. You need to quit living in a fantasy world. <laughs> this world is controlled by Satan. Mm -hmm. He tells you to your face. Notice I said to your face. Yes. He don't talk behind your back. He tells you to your face. I come to kill, steal, and destroy. Mm -hmm. You got to understand that when you deal with him. You best have something on the inside of you that's going to make you trouble. Amen. The word simply says, greater is he in me than he does in his word. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wish I had a witness. Amen. You got to come to the realization it is what it is. What it is. Mm -hmm. Saying it is real. Spiritual wickedness is real. You got to understand that everybody don't love you because you think you're lovable. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Number three, you got to change your mindset. Change your mindset. You got to change the way you think and the way you do things. The new creature knows without a fact. That the places I used to go, I can't go there anymore. Things I used to do, I can't do anymore. I may be grown, I may have the full understanding of my capacities, but I have to understand that I'm still a man under authority. And if Jesus is my Lord and Savior, then I must follow his commands. I wish I had a witness this morning. Somebody once said, you got to change your attitude. 
Amen. But I, I digress just a little bit because it tickled me. The millennial society now <laughs> don't think like we think. Are you listening to me? Amen. They think that everybody's on their level. Mm, yeah. Are you listening to me? They, they, they have the attitude that when they walk up to you, they can say, what y'all know if they are read? Yeah. I mean. <clears throat> they don't forgot that they're supposed to hold what respect for mm -hmm. yeah, age. They don't have to understand that it's still in them that we do it is still in us. Mm -hmm. You better not walk up to big mama and say, what's going on in <laughs> <laughs> And she didn't admit that thing. Because no matter wherever you went, she would say some of these words. It ain't you. It you represent me. That's right. You need to train your children and teach them the ways of the Lord. Now, I can say this with no hesitation. You think because you are a millennial that you can do what you want us to do and say what you want to say? But when you meet that man downtown in that black robe, <laughs> the first time you start to get grown, you're going to get the penalty of grownness. And I say this because my wife and I were speaking and I laughed about it. You got to understand that when you go for a job interview, the people who will hire you for a job is my age. Call me James as you want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to say thank you very much. You got a pleasant good day. Are uh, you listening to me? You just go by, you could go home and wait by your phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody missed that. <laughs> Number five, appreciate what you have learned and have become. Appreciate what you have learned and have become. The new creature appreciate who they are. Because wisdom tells us that because of the age we are, we didn't get here overnight. You can realize, and you must realize, you're not going to grow up overnight. You learn how to appreciate what you have. The things God has given you, the older you get, the more you get to appreciate each day that is given to you. Amen. You got to learn how to appreciate what you have. Isn't it a shame that you don't praise your own mama? You say to yourself, we want a great church, we want an exciting church, but when someone says, what can you do to help the church, you got to pray over it. <laughs> oh, Let the years of wisdom reflect. I looked the other day and I thought it was so funny. I mean, it just, it just blew my mind and I said, man, this is some good stuff in law. We're dealing with this or thing. And I looked and I, at the parade and I seen this lady. She was skating. And she had a, the short pants on and she had the whole nine yards on. And I looked and she had a whole leg taped up in that pain removal tape. You know what I'm talking about? That black tape, blue tape, put on when you pain and all that stuff. And she had this skating. And the little child, one of the little child children that evidently knew her, grandma they said, when y'all heard her say, say, how you doing, grandma? And she ran out and she greeted her and everything and picked her up. And the first thing she said when I heard her, I was close enough, she said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to myself, you might escape. <laughs> she must have been at least 68. <laughs> now I pray in God in the day and time because everybody knows the new 80 is 20. No. <laughs> <laughs> you better learn to appreciate it. And realize that the gray hair you have on your head is there for purpose. Amen. All right? Number six. That I don't miss with somebody already. <laughs> realize every day is special. Realize 
every day of this special. Look at your name and tell your neighbor, life too short to walk around. Life, life too short, short to walk around. around. You got some people who just walk around. I guess they got their mad face on or had it got face on, I don't know what they call it. <laughs> just angry with the work. And you're saying to yourself, why? What did I do to you? Good morning, how you doing? What's good about it? You need to get away from them kind of people. That's right. That's right. Let me tell you right now, that new creature in you tells you that when you see somebody like this, you need to move on. Amen. You have to tell somebody from the depth of your heart, you got problems, I got problems. And there ain't no need of us sitting here all day discussing our problems. We need to find a solution to make ourselves happy. Come on, somebody. And now, now, now you got to allow, not allow negative people to stop your joy from flowing. If God has blessed you and given you an opportunity, you need to give God the glory and get rid of those negative people. Amen. Don't let them hold you down. You got to see things the way God sees things. I gave you this day for you to rejoice in it. Come on, somebody. Yes. Amen. Every day is not going to be a good day. No. There are days sometimes when your mind gets crowded, a pain checks you. But we know that when the pain hits you, good God, time, you still cry. Yes. I'll yes. see you here. Thank you, Jesus. First of all, what is this new beginning? A woman gives birth. She's no longer a woman. Mm -hmm. She becomes a mother. She's changed. She's changed. A new beginning has taken place. Yeah. And alcoholic drinks every time he she get the urge. But now, as alcohol is poured into his bar, he drains it, looks at it, throw it down the drain. Why? Because he's changed. I don't need that no more to make me happy. See, what's the proper word? Libations. <laughs> I need one in the morning. I need one at noon. I'm just a social drunk. Oh, excuse me. I said it right the first time. I'm over you yet. You got a problem. You have to realize that nothing in that problem. It's going to take your problems away. Yeah. It will temporarily delay. Mm -hmm. But then, after the delay is over, when you find out you got more problems than you had before. Yes. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Amen. A new beginning has taken place. A son, a daughter, lose their mother in a car accident. A new beginning has taken place. But now you become the mother. Hmm. A new beginning can happen any day, at any time. Sometimes a new beginning may not be our own choosing or liking. It can be very difficult to walk through the doorway of a new season in one life. Every time you think about this, remember we go through seasons. You have to understand that. There was a time when we were young, could run, and never be out of here. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Right, yeah. Then there was a time <laughs> when we stayed up all night long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But a new season has changed. Yeah. I tell people now, praise God, I don't need to stay up past 10.30. <laughs> <laughs> nothing I'm looking for. Nothing I need. Everything I got has already been supplied. Are you listening to me? Yeah, man, I'm coming in here looking like the dog just dragged you. I don't need that look no more. Got a new weekend. Somebody better come on. I don't need that anymore. A new weekend. That's the turn. How we live in the midst of the new beginning that we didn't expect or even know. In the night, you're going to have trials. And but I heard the master say, 
be of good cheer. Fire will come to work. No matter what you're going through, you have to understand you say you're never going through it. I hold your head. And then he went on to say, I'll be with you even to the end of the world. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The believer is created anew. His heart is not merely set right, but a new heart has been given to him. He is the workmanship of God, created in Christ Jesus such a good works. Though the same, though the same other man, he changed his character and conduct. He began to say these words. I got responsibility. A man must learn, must know his responsibilities. If you created life, you should take care of it. You should know this by now. You should remember and know in your mind what it feels like to be fatherless. And until you get in your mind who you are, you're not going to grow. Amen. It's good to have a girlfriend. Praise God. I'd rather we have a girlfriend and a girlfriend and a boyfriend. All that good stuff. <laughs> but there is a right way and a wrong way. Are you listening to me? If she treats you right, take care of you as a man, then you need to do the next best thing. Marry her and take care of her. Amen. Amen. I don't told you how it works. I can't understand when people sit there and say, I'm on my sixth marriage. Come on, brother. You should have found out by the time you got the three of you. You the one got the problem. <laughs> yeah. Anytime we lose something or someone of great importance, we experience a new sense of loss, even hopelessness. But God said, I'll be a mother to you. I'll be a father to you. I was there in the beginning, and I'll be there in the end. You be willing to let God use you. I wish I had a witness. Amen. Look at somebody say, let God use you. Let God use you. Romans 12 and 23, 12 and 2, excuse me. And be not conformed to this word, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect with the will of God. That's a new way. Whatever God wants is what God is going to get. Whatever I can do to give God glory is what I'm going to do. I don't care if nobody else runs this race with me. I like that quote. Huh? But if I got to run it, I run it all by myself. Because I realize this morning that I'm not working for you. I'm working for a crown this morning. Are you listening to me this morning? In that Galatians 3 says that heaven put on this new man, which is renewed in knowledge. As an image of him that created him. Amen. And then let you be the example in your life. Amen. If you want to be something new, say so, tell somebody you're a Christian. If you want to be a society, you want to excite them, you want to upset them, let them know that you don't work with the devil no more. God. Amen. Amen. Tell them that you got a new attitude, a new way of thinking, a new way of doing things. I don't see things like I used to. In other words, I let God show me the ending. First of all, let's look at this thing. Ephesians 4 and 20. Now, let me get on out of here. But that is not what you have learned from Christ's teaching. Mm -hmm. You have certainly heard his message. And you have been taught his ways. The truth is Jesus. Amen. You are taught to change the way you were living. The person you, you, you need to be will ruin you. I love that the person you used to be will ruin you. Through your desires that deceive you. However, you are taught to have a new attitude. Amen this morning. You are also taught to become a new person, created like God, truly righteous and holy. So then, get rid of lies. Speak the truth to each other. Because we are all members of the same body. Be angry without 
God said it. Don't go to bed angry. I wish I had a witness this morning. Yeah, now, 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 you go to bed angry, where you go to angry? <laughs> go to bed again angry. The devil said they have a field day. Are you listening to me? Tell somebody, I may not like what you did, but this morning I got a new attitude. And I'm walking in the holiness of the Lord. And I'm now, when people curse me, when people talk about me, I tell them I bless you in the name of Jesus. And then I walk in an upright manner. I don't walk with my head hung down. I know I got a father who cares all about me. And I'm now I have a new beginning. And that new beginning say I am now a new creature. And that new creature is Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't think that I'm perfect. Don't think that I'm all of that. Every now and then my hand get the trembling. But every time it gets the trembling like that, I keep trying to say, what would Jesus do? I wish I had a witness this morning. And I put my hands in my pocket. Go on about my business. Why? Because I do have a new attitude. A new way of doing things. This is what I'm saying to you this morning. You got to understand God created you. Be ye holy, for the Lord your God is holy. Amen. Amen. And when you do this, don't do it to please man. Because if you do God's commandments, love one another, take care of one another, then he'll say to you, well done. Amen. A new beginning. A new beginning. And when you get that new beginning, that's when you can sit there and say without a doubt. I don't know when he's coming from it. But when he does come, I'll be ready. I'll be ready. I have ran my course. I fought a good fight. Now I will see and receive my reward. May God bless you and have a style of faith. For those that are watching, you need a new beginning. Let this new beginning be in the energy of Christ. And if you have not performed to him, pray this prayer with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I now lay down the old man and I pick up now the new man that you have given me. And now, Father God, teach me Guide me and direct me that I might be a great ambassador for you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 A new beginning. May God bless you. And may have a smile upon you.